Hello, this is Andrew with Big Fish Audio, and right now I'm going to show you how to load our products um, into GarageBand. Um, so we're going to be looking at the Apple Loops format. And for this video, I'm going to be using the product Kings of the South 2. And once you have your digital media on the desktop um, or external hard drive, whichever is easiest for you, um, you're going to notice that Kings of the South 2 is in one of two formats that you can purchase from us. You can get a DVD, which is right here, or you can purchase the download. The download, you're going to download a zip file, which is uh, the naming structure of the zip file is going to look like that. To open it, you're going to double click it, and you're going to get this file right here, which is the exact same Apple Loops folder as the DVD. Uh, we don't do anything different on the downloads. We literally zip up what we have on the DVD and uh, format it as a download. So you're not missing anything if you're wondering, you know, what's the difference between DVD and download? There is no difference. Okay, it's just how you personally like to work with your media. So once you have it downloaded, receive our disk. Let's open up the Apple Loops. Okay, then let's open up GarageBand. And let's open up a Loops template here. And we'll call this Loading Apple Loops. We'll let that run. Okay, once it's up, let's make this a little bit smaller here. Now here is your interface for GarageBand. Mouse is super easy to install or load our Apple Loops. Okay, um, once you have GarageBand open, highlight the Apple Loops folder of our product. Okay, not an individual folder. I want you to drag and drop the actual main folder into this area right here. And you're gonna see the little green plus sign. You're gonna let go. Okay, now it's gonna ask you, these loops will be added to the loop browser. And you're gonna click move to loops folder. And it's gonna import, so we're gonna let that run. And once that is finished, uh, that's pretty much it. And you can load the sounds that we just installed with the descriptors. Descriptors um, do just that. They describe the loop that you're trying to load in. So say you're looking for um, drums from Kings of the South, which is the product that we just installed. You can click on all drums and you'll see them right here. So say you want to drag in this 808 hit. Okay, that's what I want to use. Drag that in right there. And there it is. You can turn the metronome on and off and off over there. So, and then to reset this to get back to what you want, you can do that. And you can also have like uh, uh, more than, than one descriptor available at a time. So say you want like an electric drum hit that's grooving. Here they all are. Okay, and that's it. If you have any other questions, I'm going to put an email for you to email uh, us at customer support at Big Fish Audio, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this, and have a great day. And one more thing before I forget, uh, I almost forgot, how do you find your Apple Loops once they're installed? Um, let me show you how. Once you have dragged them to here and installed them, you're gonna click on this, Loops. And you're gonna select the um, library that you just installed. So boom, Kings of South 2, and here we are.